you're um, getting like water on your sofa. Shit. Right. I should change. Um. Be right back. Just need to go upstairs and put on something dry. God, that smells amazing. I haven't had pancakes in a million years. Johnny cakes, actually. I used to skip school sometimes and make them with my grandma. And they're made with real Johnny? <laughs> you are so annoying. No, they are not. And they go best with mulberry jam. Oh no, I've only got grape. Then I guess you'll have to make it up to me. Alternate Max's life seems so uncomplicated. Unless that's also a shape-shifted Safi. Nah, Safi can't cook. I have so much I want to ask Safi about. I don't even know where to start. What happened on the lake? Shifter. You You've have got powers? powers? Oh. Here. Person with the bottle cap has to answer a question. Huh. You clever little minx, you. Deal. Let's play. How long have you had your power? Uh, since high school? Right after dad left. Mom was broken. And the way she dealt with being broken was to make sure I wasn't. That was a project. Proof that she didn't need him to do something right. That's a lot to put on a kid. Yeah, don't I know it. God, I remember wishing <laughs> so much I could just be the way she wanted me. Magically, instead of... Struggling all the time and still falling short. Then I started wishing I could be someone else entirely. Someone who didn't have to carry all that weight. Then, one day, I could. So, are you like that girl in Frozen? Ice powers and musical numbers? No. There's a world parallel to this one that I can access. I am... Um, 
switched that world's icy lake with our broken one. Hang on. Parallel world? It's the same as this one. Except... I killed you. Or I will. What the fuck are you talking about? At some point in the future, I think I'm going to travel back to the moment you took this photo and shoot you. Uh, unless I can figure out why and find a way to change things in the present. Let's come back to this. Give me the bottle cap. Can you turn into anybody? Uh, only if I've met them IRL. Trying to guess who I've been? Go ahead. I'll answer those for free. That was you impersonating Gwen and dealing drugs to students. Not like she didn't deserve it. Your book deal. When I got the news, it was canceled. She was the first person I called. She said she didn't know anything about it. When she started ignoring my texts, I knew it was mask off time. Hell, I started to think you were in on it, too. That's why I came tonight. To see what you were hiding. Why didn't you tell me you knew Gwen killed it? I wanted to wait till I got more information. I've got my number, Max. <laughs> we could have shared intel. Seriously, Max, I thought you were covering for Gwen. Thought I couldn't trust you anymore. But actually, I was just trying to prevent your murder in another timeline. Yeah, that's <laughs> honestly a relief. <laughs> <sighs> Did you change into Lucas and ruin things with his son? I thought Lucas was involved in canceling my book. I gave him a chance to come clean. He didn't. Robbie had nothing to do with his dad's shitty actions, though. I weighed how best to hurt Lucas. Robbie was the only way. I don't know. So, that was actually you trying to get into Vin's phone. Mmm. If anyone deserves an acting award, it's me. I thought he was just trying to get rid of anything tying him to the cow skull fiasco. So that was him. Guess he's still not over me. Nothing says take me back like 
vandalism. Kids don't spray paint their names in hearts anymore. You know, I hung out with Vin last night. We, um... We got drunk and played Smasher Pass. Oh, please tell me you smashed me, Max. It was in the timeline where you're gone. And smashing the dead is considered gauche. There was a moment talking to Amanda today that felt a little... different. Look, you were snooping around. I needed to know why. It was... self-defense. Your impression of Amanda? <laughs> I have some notes. <laughs> Good enough to fool most people. I thought you were most people. I guess I should let you ask me something now. <sighs> My mom, she can wait. So, you said something about traveling back to a moment? Can you clarify? The truth is, in my teens, I could rewind time. Shit. Time travel too? You're really white privileged into all the cool powers. You'd think so. But rewinding was... Too easy to abuse. Knowing you can undo anything makes choice seem irrelevant. Oh, the things I would undo, the bad sex I would unhave, the amazing sex I'd rehab. <laughs> Until you learn that to move forward, you can only choose one path. And you have to live with it. My turn again, huh? <laughs> How exactly do you shape shift? It's got something to do with perception. Manipulating how others see me and hear me. Like right now, I can kind of feel the part of your brain that senses me. And if I nudge it... Wow. Yup. Still creepy. Are the teens using creepy to mean awesome nowadays? Whoa. It's like she walked across my brain for a second. <laughs> oh. All right, so you used to time travel, and now you can switch timelines? What, what changed? You know that blue-haired girl? That was my fault. She died. Shot and bleeding out on the floor of our high school bathroom. All alone. All alone except for me. The one person who could have helped her. Stuck powerless behind a stall a few feet away. Shit, 
Max, I saw the article in your memories box. You can't blame yourself for... I can't. My powers created a storm. Literally, I mean. And I had a choice. Save my town? Or save her? I chose Arcadia Bay. I didn't try to rewind again for years. Not until I got here. When other you died, I learned that my powers had changed. That I had. By the way, Moses on the other side gave me that bottle cap to give to you. Moses knows? Well, not everything. He knows about me and you being alive. Not the shape changing, obviously. He told me to tell you to stay safe. I'm trying. I should probably tell you about Maya. Maya Okada was my best friend. God, we were such a pair. <laughs> she was so fucking smart, dude, and the best writer I've ever known. What Lucas did to her, stealing her work, it essentially killed her. And as incandescently angry as I am at Lucas, at everyone, I'm so much angrier at myself. God, I, I told her to stay quiet about it. <laughs> My silence catapulted Lucas fucking Colmenero to literary stardom and sent Maya to an early grave. You said you were mad at everyone about it. Still am. Does that include your mom? She told me to tell Maya to keep quiet and she protected Lucas. We've talked it through a little since then. I don't hold it against her, not really. Vin's statement. Bingo. He was supposed to be Maya's friend. But Caledon said jump. At least I have the humanity to regret asking how high. Including Gwen? Gwen was the one who said to put my anger into poetry. That poetry became all the daughters we don't talk about. Your book. Yep. And at the 11th hour, she got cold feet. I'm hazy on the connection between all this and your book. Every piece in that collection was about Maya. Or about what happened to her. Guess I told it a little too clearly. And when Gwen showed her true colors and pulled the plug on the book, I had to find some other path to vindication. Gwen, Lucas, Finn, your revenge tour. My justice tour. Safi, what if, what if that justice tour goes wrong? 
What if it spirals out of control? What if eventually it's the reason I... What? This photo? That I don't remember taking? Dude, do you even own a gun? No, but... Great! Don't buy a gun. Problem solved. I don't understand how you can be so chill about this. I don't understand how you could be such a bummer about it. Max, we have fucking superpowers. You keep talking like you're cursed, but you're not. You're in control. You and me, we're more in control than most people. Hey, look at me. Tell me honestly. Do you really think that you're capable of hurting me like that? No, I don't think so. Or maybe, I hope not. To start, <laughs> I trust you, Max Caulfield. Enough for both of us. But Safi, we can't just cross our fingers. We have to do something. What do you propose? Lucas, justice for Maya. You wrote a whole book about it. And that book is dead. The book is... You aren't. I can still expose Lucas. We can. When you tried to expose him before, you were alone. Now there's two of us. We've got powers, and we've got proof. Krampus on campus. Shit, that's tonight. Everyone will be there. And you'll be expecting a mock trial. You won't be expecting us. <laughs> Wanna nail a smug asshole to the wall? I've never wanted anything more. Here at Krampus, but shit, I'm still reeling. Safi has powers. She can literally nudge people's brains to see what she wants them to see. And Lucas, you can't get any lower than plagiarizing your students' work. But after tonight, everyone will know what he did. And Maya will get the justice she deserves. Okay, some of these decorations scream not safe for work. It's Krampus. Every year it gets even more like a Halloween rager. It's spooky. <laughs> I like it. Everyone should end the year this way. Your idea of a fun outing involves condemned buildings. Of course you'd like it. <laughs> Is the gingerbread house part of the plan? Hilarious. No. The plan is, when it's time to roast Lucas, we'll swap out their toothless slideshow with mine. Spend all day on it. It's got all the evidence I have of what Lucas did to Maya. We'll play it while he's on stage, in front of everyone. What's wrong? Just promise me we'll nail him this time. He's not slithering out of this. 
Not between the two of us and other Moses. You're right. He's fucked. So, how do we pull this off? Looks like Reggie's running the projector. We need someone who's willing to run the slideshow without asking questions. And not piss themselves when Lucas gets mad. I'll see how Reggie's feeling. Next up, Ben. He's the MC tonight. So we'll need his help. Think you can talk him into it? Ben and I have history. And that leaves Gwen. Be nice to have her support. She hates Lucas as much as I do. But I doubt she'd listen to me. I'll talk to her. Great. Let me know when you're done. Enjoy the party! <laughs> Operation Expose Lucas is a go. Hey, you made it. Oh, hey. Yeah. Krampus, young man! Say cheese, Krampus. I missed you, the Reggie, you think this? Huh? We made plan. So, this is the projector. Looks expensive. I thought they, you know. Uh... Yeah, no, I should change the framing. I need to stay with him for about a month, Lash. What do you. Mean? Part of the same grad cohort? There's so much to do tonight. It's the truth. I'm... Where's your grapple? It's not you. It's me. Quick! Whoa, did you steal that thing? I'm borrowing him. Um, why? He told me he wanted a selfie. I'd ask Mr. Krampus for another photo, but we've got more important things to worry about right now. Do we not do enough with our art? No, it's... All we do... Hey guys. Max. Hey. Uh, not to be a downer, but things are looking good for you, Diamond. That's because I am playing the long game. You know there's only two more rounds, right? This game is impossible. I'm gonna check out more of the party. See you guys. Still need to talk to Gwen. Roll for charisma. This one first, then you can play that one. And then... Our...
I love what you've done with the place. Can't wait to take all this shit down. Abraxas' idea of holiday decor does not line up with mine. I'm surprised you let them do anything. You're kind of a control freak. I am not. It's just... my bar. <laughs> Whatever, shoo, go enjoy the party. So bossy. This is the projector. Looks expensive. If anyone can convince Vin to do this, it's Safi. Ew, is this Latin? Why? One more beanie and this thing's a goner. Hey, Reggie. You manning the projector tonight? <laughs> Babysitting, more like. The school only agreed to let us use Olga here if someone kept an eye on her at all times. Oof. Not what you had planned for Krampus. Reggie, how would you feel about... Helping us pull a prank on someone. We need to use the projector. Oh, uh, I, I, um, I don't, I actually, I don't think that that's, uh, that, uh, <clears throat> Just testing you. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing a great job. Caledon must appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm paying all the bills with all this appreciation. <laughs> okay, Reggie's not going to cut it. But if something went wrong with that projector... And Moses was the only one who could fix it. But how can I make sure I only break it in a way that this Moses can fix? I should let Moses have a little more time with Diamond before I drag him into things. Hey. Just the troublemaker I wanted to see. Me? Really? Yeah. You were right. That security footage was weird. I showed it to the board. And? Didn't make a fucking ounce of difference. Got fired in. Anyway. Sophie's power over perception in others seems to imprint on objects as well. Oh, Quinn. I'm so sorry. So, is... is that what you came over here for? Sophie has a plan to tell the truth about Lucas's book during the roast. It would be a lot more credible if someone from the faculty backed us up. I hadn't realized how much fight I'd lost until that hearing today. I forgot how much better it feels to stand for something. Fuck it. I'm in. Thank you, Gwen. Really. So, uh, when does this all go down? Don't worry. You won't miss it. Sorry, Max. One second. We have to recount this turn. Just trust me, dude. Hey, Moses. Not sure I'll ever get used to that. <laughs> I like it. It'll help with cosplay. How's your first Krampus? 
It's the oddest shit I've ever seen in my life. Which is saying something. I usually hate parties, but Crepus is always fun. Anyway, that's not why we're here. Did you guys figure out a plan? Yes, we did, but it's already falling apart. We require Mozai assistance. I need to get other Reggie to let other Moses control the projector instead. Okay. I was thinking if something went wrong with it. So it's gotta go wrong in a way that's right for me to fix it. Exactly. Do you know which projector it is? Reggie called it Olga? Olga can be particular. If he goes to the other side and listen, I can walk you through jamming it from here. You might be better at my powers than me. Probably. <laughs> Come back and let me know if it works, okay? I will. Better get into position. I don't want to miss Moses' instructions. Words of encouragement? Or contender for worst pickup line? Oh, Reggie's back on his phone. <laughs> Don't worry, Olga. We'll only break you a little bit. I need Reggie's eyes off that projector long enough for me to get my hands on it. Huh. They're chummy. Maybe Diamond can help me out. Reggie's officially distracted. I should be good to go now. I hope Moses is ready on the other side to keep- Maybe Reggie did see her. Did she have to talk to him? Okay, how long would that take? Max, you there? Man, this feels silly. If you're there, start by opening the control hatch. It should be on the right side. You mean there are more controls? You're kind of like a spy. Do you feel like a spy? Oh, Moses. Okay, Max, you back? If yes, switch the focus mode to me. If no, I... If no, I'm not really sure. Just keep talking to myself, I guess. So far, so good. What's my next step? Shouldn't take too long, right? Click one switch. Yeah. Max, next, make sure the focus dial is turned all the way to the left. Still needs to be a little more to the left. This looks like it's in the right spot. I'm giving you an extra second or two. You probably turned the knob all the way to the right at first by mistake. Hey. All right, Max. Final step. Just hit calibrate. After a few seconds, you should hear the motor stick. I can't believe I just did that. I'm sorry, Elda. Sorry, Reggie. But this is one omelet we have to make. No, 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 shit. Oh, 
What is happening? Oh god! Hey again. Hey, Moses. I need a favor. I think Reggie's on the brink of ruining school property. Oh, it's Olga. Everyone thinks she's finicky, but she's just... Rain check? Sure. Duty calls. Hey, Reggie, I found help. I, I, I don't know what happened. One minute she's fine, and the next she's yelling at me like she's my mom. <laughs> There's your problem. The focusing motor is stuck. <laughs> Maybe take the night off, Reggie. I think Moses has it from here. Really? Are you sure? Yeah, Max. You sure? Think about what's best for Olga. No offense, Reggie. Oh, none taken. Okay. If you're sure. <laughs> Thanks, Moses. You saved my life. <laughs> you're being all maxi. What's afoot? Me and Safi are hijacking the roast tonight. And we need your help to run this slideshow instead. We have good reason. You'll see. All right. I trust you. I should talk to the other Moses. It worked. Other you is in place and ready to go. Nice. Where'd you get this house? Aren't they from the party? Amanda saved me a kid. She knew Safi and I really got into it last year. Last piece. Oh, damn. Chimney broke. I <sighs> wonder how it tastes. I bet I can find an extra chimney on the other side. Just... Just hang on. I should talk to Safi and get the roast going. Yo, cool pin. Wow, I'm a celebrity. Can I borrow Safi for a sec? What's up? So, Other Moses is also making a gingerbread house? Aww. Is he? Yeah. But his chimney broke. Mind if I take yours? How's he doing? Like, really? He's coping. My powers have been blowing his mind. But he misses you. I wish I could help him somehow. Moses is the only one I do this for. <sighs> this was a doozy to make. I love it. How are the discussions about our issues on campus going so far? Much better than expected. It being finals week, me and Voila. Guess who it's from?
It's... for real? From the other side, from... Safi? Thank you, Max. You're welcome. A true team effort. to go is he part of your merry band yeah i am great gwen's on board too damn <laughs> hope it's not for nothing why what's going on lucas is about to call the whole thing off he's out on the patio freaking out he's supposed to announce his movie deal tonight i guess he's worried it's too good to be true okay so what do we do Better be quick. The guy's two ticks away from calling an Uber. Fuck. I'm gonna go stall him. You figure something out, Max. Good luck. What's she doing? Is that Safi? Yep. <laughs> That's definitely Safi. I better go back up, Safi, out on the patio. You're usually very quid pro quo. I'm surprised you agreed to help us. I didn't agree to help you. I know. You're doing this for Safi. And Maya. Four years later, and I still feel like crap about what happened. You're trying to do the right thing now. That matters. <laughs> so, uh, remind me what the plan Just is again, Just a teeny time. Sunk! <laughs> Drink up, baby! How are you so good at this? Where I grew up, there was nothing to do but drink and set shit on fire. Do you strip poker next? You're a menace to society. Ah, huh. that Vin chose Smash too. I'll be quick. How did you find success after years of mediocrity? Loretta? I've talked about this in my workshops, Loretta. Don't you remember? Critics rarely understand genius when it first appears. That's very kind of you, Max. And very true. It's been years since Water Beast was published. Have you settled for an early retirement? Come on, Loretta. You can't rush the process. Lucas has a vision that requires time to perfect. Yes. Very well said, Max. Thank you. Besides, there's a reason Lucas needs to focus back on Wilder Beasts for now. Oh, really? If you stick around for the Krampus roast, you can be the first to break the news. Right, Lucas? Uh... Yeah, that's right, sure. Nice work, Loretta. Thanks for your time, Professor. 
Thanks, Max. That young woman was aggressive. Loretta looks up to you. All the students do. I'll let you in. I almost called off the event before you got here. You? On your big night? Ha! <laughs> yeah, I know. If my old man could see me, he'd tell me to man up and get in there. <laughs> he was an author too, you know. Roberto Colmenero. <sighs> Come on then. I deserve this. I should stop stalling. Go get him. Roberto Colmenero. Great job, partner. Although, I thought you were gonna puke there for a second. Lucas has a gun. Ew, what the fuck? Why? It belonged to his father. Sophie, this is bad. Oh, Jesus, Max. You might shoot me, Lucas might shoot me. America has a problem. I told you, Max. I trust you. Here, I'll hold on to it. Happy? Thanks. It's time for the Krampus Roast! <laughs> Let's welcome our guest of honor, Professor Lucas Colmanero! Fair warning. He's gonna say a few words before we start, so I hope everyone's already halfway to waste it. <laughs> no hard feelings, bro. Thanks, Vin. I, uh... I wanted to announce some surprising news. No? My world-renowned book, Wilder Beast Than These, That's not right. Uh, who... What is this? Not your past, Lucas. Your former student, Maya Okada. Now that's odd. <laughs> I thought this was a presentation about your book. Would you care to explain what Maya's doing up there instead? These are not my slides. No? Then let me help you out. The beast rose and stared into me. It became me. I had always been the beast. <laughs> Powerful words from Caledon's famous pet novelist. Am I right? What do we all think? Maya was a good writer. Thanks, everyone. Now, wait a minute, Professor. This might be the clue we were looking for. So, what do we have here? Maya Okada's draft. Wait a minute. Maya wrote that sentence? That, that, that page? For real? Yes, for real. But you already know that. Because every word of your venerated novel belongs to Maya Okada. What the hell are you doing? This is slander. Every one of this man's accolades 
belongs to Maya Okada. That's why he only wrote one book. I can't believe this. That's why the one book. You were right. It's working. I need to get away with this. You don't know what you're talking about. Try me. All right, all right, let's rein this in. <laughs> now, we wouldn't want this roast to end in any actionable legal threats. <laughs> uh, continue, please. As some of you must surely know, Maya Okada was a beloved former student of mine who tragically took her own life. The thought of her death being politicized and used as, as a cudgel, beyond disrespectful. Maya believed in my work. She believed in me. That's a load of horseshit, Colmanero. Everything Vin Lang said is true. I should know. Because I helped cover it up. I shouldn't have, but I did. And so did this university. We all helped make sure that man never faced a single consequence. That's despicable. Horrible. Petty of you, Gwen, trying to take me down with you. Unfortunately, Dr. Hunter was just terminated for, well, highly illegal conduct. That has nothing to do with this. In fact, her very presence on this campus may be unlawful in and of itself. Gwen, we've been colleagues for years. I understand you're disgruntled, but I hope in the future you can channel your anger more productively. How fucking dare you? <sighs> wow. Sorry about that, folks. I knew this would fucking happen. What are gross. you doing? I'm changing it to Ven. I'll make Lucas fess up myself. Sophie, wait. Really this is your chance to tell everyone your side. Shouldn't you go up there as yourself? Are you serious right now? Right. If speaking my truth worked, we wouldn't be here. I am serious. Superpowers aren't the answer to every problem. I would know. With the rest of Caledon. Fuck. As of next year, Wilder Beast right. will be adapted into a feature. Trust you. Film. We have to get in this time, Max. So, this is Vin's turf, not castles, mine. Friends. Make my day. Do you really think I should go up there as myself? You can do this. Fuck. Honesty is not my strong suit. Here we go. Safi. Did you forget that I was actually there? That at one point we were all friends? You, me, and Maya? I trusted you. Was that all a lie, too? You're trying to turn me into this monster. I watched you tour the country, win awards for the work you stole from her. I watched her beg you to stop. I watched you kill her. Now you expect me to watch you Profit off her grave? Yeah, and what about you? If what I did was really so bad, you would have said something back then. You didn't. I was a child. What was your excuse?
Uh, what young Safi here doesn't understand is it, it wasn't stealing. Authors frequently take uh, inspiration from one another. I was going to give her credit, but then she... Think about what I was going through at that time. My divorce, my son, this. This is absurd. You were right. They listened to me. Just me. Of course they did. You're you. <laughs> you don't know how much this means to me, Max. I'm just happy to share this moment with you. Okay, enough. Let's celebrate! <laughs> hey. We need to talk. Alone. And before you say, fuck off, you'll want to hear this. Relax. I'm the one packing, remember? I'll be fine. Wait for me? I'll be over with Moses when you're ready. Lucas and Safi? That can't be good. Oh, I should let other Moses know how it went. Listen, I get being upset about a B plus from a writer you admire, but that was wild. So that's why you needed Moses, huh? Yeah. Man, the fact that Lucas was the department chair after doing that to a student really creeps me out, you know? I really do. Let's forget about Lucas for the rest of the night, and get hammered. <laughs> Sounds great. Wait, I want to update the other Moses first. I want to leave him hanging. We got him. What I would have given to see it. How is Safi? Surprised, I think. She's not used to people listening to her and believing her. You should get back. She'll need you. Us. She knows you're still here for her, too. Whoa. <laughs> that made my entire year. Mine, too. So that's what you two were planning this whole time. Wait, where's Safi? Where's Safi? Safi wanted the truth, so I gave it to her. All of it. You don't even know what the fuck you just did, do you? What was that about? What's wrong? My head, it's... It what? was my book! I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't believe you! Believe I can't you. do this! You lied to me. You lied, you lied to, me. to me. You lied to me. You lied to me. You lied to me. Sophie. You lied to me. 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 You lied to me.
Circle's headaches are getting worse. Headaches are getting worse. I'm up here. Look down at the school. Bye. Sophie, wait for me. Unforgivable. Almost there. Hold on, Sophie. Oh, please. I was trying to say you were trying to protect me. Say it one more time. I fucking dare you. Sophie, don't do Stay this. Stay back! Both of you. Sophie, listen to me. Something's happening to your powers. You're losing control! All this time I've been trying to get justice and she's the one who's been getting in the way! Not Gwen! My own fucking mother! It was you? You cancelled her book deal? The book was just her latest twisted fuckery. She's been doing this for years! Since I was a kid! You deserve better than what I- <laughs> My dad. And she made me think it was his idea. How fucked up is that? You don't understand. This world can be so cruel. How's this for cruel? The only time in my entire life that you were controlling me was when I wasn't even me! Happy tea. Uh, uh, oh my god. Do you think you are? I'm your mother. One day you will understand. Shut up! I've done everything for you. Shut up! Fucking hero again? 
You couldn't just stay back and let me handle this for once? It's okay, Yasmin. You're gonna be okay. Get away from her! Ah! Ah! Oh my god, Sophie! 